Okay guys, I got on the scale yesterday and I've gained 20 pounds. Today we're gonna start, start doing something that I've wanted to do and I'm just sick and tired of not doing it anymore. I'm gonna go hiking and I'm gonna bring baby E. And we're gonna make this work. We're gonna make this work. Let's get started. literally got on the scale and let's just say I'm not even I'm too scared to get on the scale and show y'all <laughs> let's just say that I gained 20 pounds legitimately and I'm not happy about that I see myself on camera all the time and I see this little not so little chin I'm getting and I hate it and I'm self-conscious about it my belly is certainly becoming a dad body or maybe it's already there Here's the thing, I've invested so much time into these kids the last two years. I'm gonna put on the screen what I used to look like. Um, and this was like right before I had children. So like there is a stark difference because none of that is here anymore, <laughs> okay? I'm not claiming that I was this big, huge buff guy, but I was toned, I had a nice stomach, my booty looked good. Like my arms were starting to look good. Like I was, the point is I was very happy with my body and now I'm just not. So um, I really, what is on my floor? I really want to get started into working out again. The issue is it's really, really difficult. And it, when you have two kids and you're single, it getting anything done is near impossible. Like just nearly impossible. <laughs> so um, what I want to start doing is like baby steps. I can go hiking, maybe three times a week I can go hiking. And I was like, well, how can I do that? Because I can't go hiking and push this huge stroller. I did get a run, I was like, maybe I could run. I got a running stroller off of our local Buy Nothing group. But the issue with that is you can't put a baby in a sitting up stroller. So, and there's no way to put the car seat on that stroller. So that's gonna have to wait until the babies are, or baby is old enough to at least sit up straight and I can run. So the next thing I was like, I don't know why I didn't think of this, but um, let's see, the carrier, the baby carrier. So I have this from Kalugo, it's a little product placement. Um, and their carrier's, carrier's really nice. It's very airy. Like, it's a lot of mesh on it. it it's a carrier, you're gonna, you, it's, it's on your body and it's pretty thick. But I will say, I've used this now two summers and I've never felt like, literally now that I think about it, I've never felt as though it was too hot. So I figured I could use this. I'm gonna go hike Fryman Canyon. It's not even a hike. It's not like, oh, I'm going into the mountains. It's just like a little steady incline walk. And I can do it now, it's just after nine and it's cooler outside. Um, we've been having these heat, these like uh, high heat temperatures and um, it's finally getting cooler. So if I go now, I can strap her in and it's one, mentally good to go out and do some walking in nature and two, I need to get some sort of activity and having her on me is an extra little bit of weight. So <clears throat> that's what we're going to do today. That was a long rant and I'm sorry about that y'all. <laughs> but this crap, it's got to go. It's got to go. And then I can figure out getting back into working out. Once the children are like old enough to be in daycare, I can do that, you know, and I can start getting working out again. Um, hi baby girl. Have you always met Carly, really? Hi. I love you. Thank you. I've had Carly for... Hmm, had her for almost 13 years. Okay, guys. So let's get started with that. Oh, first. First, obviously, I'm going to get coffee because oh, I need coffee. Okay. Are you going to be a good girl? Huh? 
gotta get you dressed. It's okay. It's okay. I promise. She was eating. She finished her bottle. And she's not happy about that. But you see, like, I could feed her. She'll eat like seven ounces. But it's not good for her because then she spits it all up and her stomach's all distended. And it's just too much. Like, she just ate four ounces. And after your body digests the four ounces, maybe we can do more if you still want more. But for now, we have to pace ourselves because look at me and my fat belly. You don't want to be fat like me. Yeah, no. And another thing is like these heat, the heat, heat waves that we've been having. Like I've been getting nauseous and one day I threw up. It's like, I'm obviously not treating my body right because this has not ever happened to me. Sure, I'm 36, I'm getting a little bit older, but like, oh, look at that beautiful yawn of yours, yeah. But like, I shouldn't be getting sick from the heat, so we gotta start working out. Are you gonna help me? Are you gonna help me work out? Mwah. Oh, those are some fluffy air cheeks. Mwah. Those are cheeks like they came from a cloud. Yeah, those cheeks feel like they came from a cloud. Yes, did they come from a cloud? Oh, 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 oh. All right, guys, let's get out of here. Guess who's coming with us? Like he's coming with us. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to come hiking with us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is. He's so excited. He's such a scared dog. He thought I was mad at him. Oh, because you pee all over my house all the time. Yeah, I had to get you a little pee pad. Mm -hmm. You coming hiking with us? Oh, are you coming hiking? Yeah. Yeah. You're so excited, aren't you? Aren't you? Are you excited to go hiking, bud? Yeah, I think he is. I think, I'd say he is. I'd say this is an excited dog. Are you trying to get inside my body? Like, what's, what are you trying to do? Huh? <laughs> oh, <sh> <laughs> I almost fell. <laughs> All right, guys, I got him this pee pad because, so for his submissive peeing, like, I got this. That way he can, um, I can have him pee there like every like hour, hour and a half I tell him to go pee and then he pees and just gets the bladder out of him. That way he doesn't pee all over my house. And then I could take him out daily. Like I take him out like twice a day. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go. I'm excited. This is exciting. You know how you get like um, <clears throat> burst, burst of energy? You're like, oh, I'm ready to go. I just got the complete utter opposite. <laughs> I was putting stuff in the car and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I, I have no desire to do this. Oh. But that is the <laughs> laziness getting to me. I can do that. I can do this. I'm going to do this. Um, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good relaxing time. I think what it is is that it's so much work to get her ready. Like, I'll put clothes on myself, brush my teeth, and then, like, whoops, sorry. Um, I will, and then I gotta, like, get her, like, dressed. Well, change her diaper, get her dressed, give her a bottle, get her in the car seat, like, all these things. And, you know, if you don't have a kid, it doesn't seem like it's such a big deal, right? Well, it is. I think it's because, you know, the screaming and everything, it just, it just exhausts you to, like, no degree. But, let me get out of this car, get some coffee. I don't know, I don't know what's going on back there that, with the, the party you're having. I'm not trying to be invited to, I'm just going to say. I'm not trying to be invited to it. Okay. Are you ready to go? 
He literally knows that we're here. It's crazy. You know we're ready to go hike? Yeah. Like we turned in. He's never even been here. We've turned in we turned in here and he was just like starting to boo boo. They're so brilliant. All right, <clears throat> let me get out of the car. It's a little too hot for the sweater, so I'm gonna put the put the um, uh, <clears throat> tank top on and then put the thing in. I'm just like, uh. yeah. Anyway, goodbye. We'll see you soon in like 30 seconds. <laughs> Less than that, because this is gonna clip right now. So I got her in the in the the um, carrier, and I have. Come on, bud. This little flap up that way you can conceal her identity here. But um, man, it feels <clears throat> beautiful out here. I'm gonna fix this tank top. So like scrunched up under this. <clears throat> feels great out here. Um, like, what, what are you doing, bud? And um, this is like really airy. It's really airy, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna. This is all I've done. Like, right there is the beginning. <laughs> and I already feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I'm so out of shape, like endurance-wise, physically. <laughs> I've got issues. Anyway, so the people I was just talking to, they are getting, trying to, so there's a new law that was enacted to have a, com a committee was appointed in Sacramento to regulate restaurants, regulate minimum wage, uh, what is it called? <clears throat> Different like, you know, policies when you own a restaurant, right? <clears throat> I'm so sorry, hold on. Okay, so, which I think that's good. I think we need to manage minimum wage better here in LA, and we need to always make sure that employees are well taken care of. However, the people that, they, that this law appoints are not elected officials. They are a group of people that are brought together by the mayor, the governors, people that are elected. Well, I don't like that because we live in a, we live in a corrupt world. And we all know that politicians will bring people onto committees that they're friends with, that pay, to, pay them to get on committees, all of that stuff. So the law and what I just signed is so that that law that was just enacted can be put on the ballot this year to be able to be removed from law. So it puts the power back in the citizens' hands and allows us to say, no, we don't want that law you just put in place, remove it. And then that continues to make our elected officials the ones that enact things like minimum wage, employee rights in the restaurant, things like that. I have to stop talking because I feel like I'm going to die. I feel you, girl. <laughs> I feel like death. She said I got to catch my breath. I was like, I feel you. I'll see you guys <laughs> at the end. This is good for me, right? This is good to do, right? Right? Okay, she's already asleep. Lights have a blast. Okay. If I, if you guys, if there's any more of this video left, it means I didn't die. <laughs> All right. Had to. Look at these views, y'all. We're gonna get better ones. Look. I'll show you better views than that. 
Look at this. I know, baby girl. Look at this. Clearly, that's my house right there. I own, I own that. This is one of my houses. I wish. You okay? She's like, every time I stop walking, she gets annoyed. I'm like, oh my God, I can't keep walking so much. Oh God, guys, this is hard. I feel it everywhere in my body. I'm gonna be miserable tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right. I feel like I got to a steady pace. You know when they say like when you're running a marathon and you get like that runner's, I don't know, runner's breath or runner's run. And then it's just like, okay, I'm good. I feel like that's where I'm at. I really love like this part because it blocks her from the sun. But honestly, I feel like you can wear this carrier with no shirt because it's just like nice mesh. It's really airy. But yeah, I feel good. I'm feeling good, guys. And we're like halfway through, I think. Although this little guy, he is pretty tired. But he'll be fine. He's a dog. He'll regulate his body. Okay. Look at that. Look at that view. So cool, right? <clears throat> I believe we even get better views. Like, look at this. Look at that. So cool. That's the, the valley side. <clears throat> And then on the other side of this hill is West Hollywood, Beverly Hills. It's like five miles that way. Whew. Okay, feeling better. Friends, we did it. We made it all the way down the mountain. All the way around, up and around. And now we're in this beautiful community. Look at this, look at this, y'all. Look at this Can you me? There's like a mat. So cool. Okay, so then we gotta walk like through this community and um, it'll bring us back around to the car. Whew. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was a very good workout. I'm sure that I'm going to um, be dead tomorrow. <laughs> My body is gonna hurt, but that's good. I'm gonna try and do this a couple times a week because this is a lot of fun. Minus all these little bugs, but a lot of fun. Did you have fun, bud? Huh? Did you have fun? Yeah, fun. Now I'm gonna go to, um, so we're in Studio City. I'm gonna go to Warby Parker, because I sat on my glasses <laughs> and I bent my glasses. Thank God they didn't break. <sighs> and um, get them to straighten those out. And then I'm going home. I'm gonna go see a movie tonight. I'm going to see, um, what is it called? The Bros. It's supposed to be really funny, so I'm gonna go check that out. Whew, but that's it guys this was a lot of fun and uh, that's all we've got for today <laughs> she's been passed out she's been asleep this whole time well no not the whole time she woke up a little bit um and then she fell back asleep i think she really likes it okay bye y'all bye